what up, what up, wheat field, what up, y'all, wheat, what it do, welcome to the wheat field, y'all, welcome, welcome to you, if you new, hey, welcome to you too, this is your girl, La, La T, here at Tears and Wheat Tarot Show, where you show enough, never know what you don't get, um, today is December the 13th, I think, yeah, the day after the 12-12 portal, and, uh, how are you guys feeling? How did your manifestations go? How did you um, feel the energy out? Was it heavy? You know, how do you feel on this day? Do you feel, I feel heavy. I say like I slept pretty heavy. Um, I feel like I'm in conflict with the spirits and my ancestors around me. Like I feel like I'm being pulled in different directions and even um, having a sentiment of just really wanting to, uh, feel my own desires. Like what's in my heart space and what do I want to do? Even from getting dressed, like we usually ask the spirit every day, what do you want to put on? What do you want to wear? What do you know? This, that, and the other. And today it was like, oh, I want to wear, like, it was like this, uh, shirt, and some black shorts. And I'm like, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of chilly. I really want to wear some sweats. Like, and I put the shorts on because that's what the spirit said for me to do. But then I went back and changed the shorts and put on my sweats. Because I really wanted to wear my sweats. And it was like, okay. You know, and so I feel misaligned. You know, like my energy and my sentiment is not aligned with something. Thing. Like, I don't know if it's the most high. God could be the Alpha and Omega that I'm not aligned to. It could, I feel like it's a, it's real chaotic, you know, like wavy, like a lot of interference. So I don't know if, um, you know, if somebody else's manifestation could have been something against your girl. Who knows? <laughs> you know, throwing me off just a little bit because I feel that energetic interference. But, um... I send everything up to the most high God anyway. Thank you, beloved. I send everything up to the most high God. So it really doesn't matter what anybody sends to me anyway. I could uh, feel the energy. Like I said, that energetic interference in something just around me, you know, like disrupting my energetic flow. But that's enough, you know what I mean? For me, like I don't want nothing interrupting my flow, even me, you know what I mean? So that's why I always pray. And even in the shower, my shower meditation felt quick. It felt, it didn't feel, yeah, it did. It kind of felt rushed, but it was, but maybe it was just more like a quick hit. Like, you know, hit it and like that. I know hit it and quit it. We ain't saying that. We saying, um, we said what we needed to say. We prayed a targeted prayer and we, you know, got on about the rest of the day. Got on about it. So maybe that's what we need to do in this space right now. Just say what we need to say, you know. Again, we thank you so much for all of the kind prayers and blessings that we get in the comments. The comments are just so beautiful. And I really try to take my time and respond to every single one of you. Um, even if it's just an emotional um, response that I'll use my emojis for, or it's something that I really need to say that the most High God is telling me to say to you it specifically, um, based off your energy and what you're saying to us. Um, when I say us, I'm saying us, the most High God, us, Lati, the infinite intelligence breathing and the alpha and omega, what the spirits give on to me, we reply back onto thee. And I thank you so much for every single one of you. We're growing y'all. We really are. We are growing. Um, we are nearing the 5k mark. Yay. I'm so excited. I can see visualizing the 5k and we, we, we've been in that space since day one anyway, I say. We've been past 5K mentally, emotionally. Our resonance, our frequency is like we got all the wheat. You know, the Most High God going to bring every single wheat to this space that it needs to. The whole lot that's been assigned to us is here. 
We feel you. Like I said, we are whole. We are complete. There's nothing broken and there's nothing missing. And if there's nothing missing, then that means we have all of you already in our audience. Now, it may be taking a little time and the physicality, the material for you to just really walk on in and be present. But I feel your presence anyway. So, you know, that's just what it is. And today is a good day to have a good day. It's a good day to have a good day. Ashe. So again, anybody sending any negative energy, because you don't know what they was manifesting in their portal energy, what their um, wishes and desires are. And a lot of them just don't be high vibrational. They be real low with it. So uh, it's a good day to have a good day. Let it go. Send it up to the Alpha and Omega. And that's kind of what I was saying with your prayers. I give every single one of them, every last one of them up to the most high. I do. And I ask the most high to do what it's going to do with them. If it's going to magnify them and expand them and then deliver them onto me, boom. I got it. I received. Thank you. And then I ask for it. I give that back up, you know, for that to be received. Because everything that is given on to me is not on to me. It's on to the most high God that gifted it, right? And I know it seemed a little like circularly like to what like i give it to you you give it to the most high um the most high give it to you you give it back to the most high the most high give it out to where it needs to go yeah it's like tennis with it it's just like you know that kundalini flow back and forth back and forth up and down up and down but it ensures that whatever i receive is what the most high intends for us to have it's my offering and i offer all things onto the most high god Speaking of, thank you to the Alpha. Thank you to the Omega. Receive me. All that I was, all that I am, and all that I ever will be. Everything is on to thee, for there is nothing on to me. You are the creator of creation itself. We are whole. We are complete. There's nothing broken and there's nothing missing. We are the only begotten. See, we don't want to rush no sip. We don't. Hmm. Sometimes we just have to slow down and savor it. That's what I was feeling. We're going to light, light a little bit of a sage smudge. Because we do. We feel energetic interference. And we want to, you know, clear it. Make sure that we're good. Into alignment. Thank you to the Most High God, the Alpha and Omega, that which called my light. I invoke the Master's joy. I invoke your presence to be with me. Yes. Call me and pull me into alignment with thee. Increase my resonance. Balance my frequency. Mm. I feel crown chakra. Third eye. Oh, that throat. Heart. Solar. Sacral. Ooh, get in the roots. Aha. Uh -huh. Ears. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel so much better. I do. I can feel that energy just dissipate and remove. I ask that anything that you have removed from your space be sealed out, that you blind it, you bind it, remove it, and the 
disperse it as you see fit. Thank you so much. We ask for you to brighten up our light, brighten up our luminous, that it may be a hedge around us to protect us, that it may repel anything that seeks to come against us. Thank you so much. Oh. Let anything that will come against us be turned away, be blinded, that they may not see. Oh. Ooh. Pop them shoulders. Ooh. I feel good, y'all. I thank you to the most high God. Yes, I thank you. My thanks and my glory unto you always. I ask for you to replenish me, to restore me. If we be in alignment, yes, I ask that you receive me, yes, allow me entrance into the holiest of holies, into your inner temple. Thank you so much that I may serve you, allow me to serve you with purity and goodness, focus and clarity. Yes, thank you, a message that's edifying onto self first and foremost, and allow me to overflow and have that go out into your wheat field. Allow your wheat to come in that they may receive it and we meet in the middle. Let us harmonize and come to unity over the message that you will bring through me, your willing and surrendered vessel to be a conduit, a messenger onto your wheat from you, yes, everything on from you onto your week. Nothing from me, nothing from me. Pull me back, beloved, and you come forward and guide me. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you are here with me through this prayer, through this cleansing, through this introduction, we are 1132 in. I appreciate you so much. I do. Again, like you are my first ones and twos, I tell you, I love you. I love you. I love you. Just like the Alpha and Omega, that which made me, which called my light to be. I love you, beloved. Thank you. Ooh, thievery. See, somebody was working on stealing something from you. And I feel like it was your energy, your essence. Yeah, they may be trying to do some sort of money manifestation or just generate some wealth. It could be spiritual wealth. It could be material wealth. It could be um, even intellectual wealth. Like, just your knowledge and what you know. Because knowledge is power, beloved. It really is. And the more that you know, the more you grow, right? I'm the old school, you know shows when we were children, babes, but it's true. Knowledge is power, and those with the knowledge hold the power, and if you are a person that has uh, deep spiritual knowledge, even material physics, knowledge in general, knowledge is knowledge. You're talking about metaphysics. We're talking about physics. We're talking about biology, astrology, astronomy. We are talking about uh, spiritual knowledge, ancient knowledge, knowledge of the all of being the ability to tap into that, to pull it forth and to see it, to use it, to activate it and put it into practice in your daily life, allowing you to manifest an abundant life. People will want to siphon that off of you. And you don't know what they was trying to pull in their 1212 portal. It could have definitely been something against you. So cleanse yourself, meditate on this day. Again, offering all things up to the Most High God, for the Most High God knows their intention when they sent it, I say. Y'all know me. You girl, I don't do return to sender. <clears throat> it's, it's a good day to have a good day. It might cause a little bit of interruption, but it ain't going to do nothing. No no weapon formed against you, so. Most High says the Most High judges all. The Most High judges all. So I offer everything up to the Most High God and allow the Most High. Well, I don't allow you to do nothing. You're going to do it anyway. I repent. I repent. Forgiveness. Thank you. 
the most high God shall judge all. I offer all things up to the most high God for judgment. Thank you. I'm a child. I'm a child. And I know not. I don't. Like, I, I, I need discernment. And I need clarity. And I need to be focused on the work that they sent on to me. My job, beloved. Mm. And somebody trying to steal it. Occupation. Thievery. Somebody that's very immature. This person may be going through some sort of illness or it may have caused some sort of interruption onto you. Like I said, I feel like it is um, a money thing. Wealth. Abundance. You know, yes. We still got that stage. It's still burning. Thank you. This. Prison. Illness and prison. You know, somebody may have been wishing... You know, something on you to bind you or whatever that was sent on to you to cause an interruption has been bound. It has been locked up. It's definitely somebody that has that's false. I mean, lights behind the scenes. I see puppeteering. They may want to control you in some sort of way. Control you or control your gift. Like I said, somebody that's spiritually gifted, having uh, an abundance of spiritual knowledge, just being knowledgeable in general. The mysteries of life. And they doing it for money. A lot of it. To be abundant. You want anything else you want this? I see the good Lord. And look, she's reaching out to them. She's either trying to stop them. She's asking for something. Somebody that's looking down at another person. I don't know what this relationship is, but this male could be doing something against this feminine. So it could be a masculine energy sending negativity towards this feminine energy. Especially with this five, I see conflict, I see competition. And it doesn't mean that this masculine is a male person. They could be just a masculine energy. The person that they're sending the, in the conflict or in competition with is a feminine energy. Somebody that's softer in spirit, that's nourishing, nourishing I feel nurturing. The other energy would be somebody that's more aggressive, more assertive, competitive, I feel, controlling. It could be somebody that you're in battle with, you know, like I said, legal matters, and you are somebody that's spiritually rich. You, It could be physical as well, you know, this person, you could be... Um, so, and a legal battle with somebody, and it could be over money. I don't know, but I'm feeling more spiritual, like a spiritual dispute or a spiritual battle. Somebody is going places. That's a 10. This is an ending. I feel like the battle is getting ready to end, and somebody is going to go, go off. I hear the word ascend. Um, hot air balloons, again, that's something that's hot. Using the heat, transforming energy, and creating heat to lift you up, to raise you up, to ascend. And that's what I feel on this. I feel like it's going to be very visible. Your ascension is going to be visible. Your rise, maybe somebody is going to glow up. You know what I mean? And you use your abilities to, again, to transmute. I feel an alchemist. Yeah, somebody may want to meet with you. You may be meeting somebody else as you were saying. You may meet other Soul Tribe members. You may be, I just really feel Soul Tribe. It's somebody in that, a main male. And it fell here. This is a masculine energy that's very immature. This person is false. We see a letter of communication. It says pleasant. I picked this up yesterday. But um, 
it's something, a pleasant communication, a good communication is going to come in. You're going to get some good news. It is a good day to have a good day. It's definitely a good day to get some good news, Asha. All right, all right, all right. Lights here. The jazz sounds of Mr. Dave Cars. See, Queen of Pentacles. Today's a good day to get some good news, Asha. I said that you were somebody that was abundant. We saw the rich girl card present. We see death and rebirth, but it flew out in reverse. Somebody doesn't want something to end. Or if they sent something negative to you, it's been returned. The most high God has judged them. Judge is all, beloved. And it will issue the judgment according to what it knows should be done. It judges righteously. With this death card in reverse, says that it ain't on to me. It ain't. And I feel like it's not on to the week. Oh, no. Page of Pentacles. How you love that. Somebody that's learning the day. What <laughs> they gonna learn the day, Omega? Humility. I say, I say. Learn humility on this day. Anything else in here, beloved? No. All right, all right, all right. What did I say? Motion. Energy could be a lot of communication. It could have been a lot of spell work coming in towards you. But somebody definitely learning today. Can y'all see that? I say I did do a little bit of adjustment on the camera. So mm. what else would you like? This It's so funny that people do this type of stuff. It's like creation is whole and it's complete and it's incredibly abundant. And see, I appreciate you and it fell all upside down. Somebody doesn't. Somebody does not like you. They don't. They may envy you. They may be jealous of you. They are in competition with you for sure. They are. They want your gifts. They want to be able to... I hear your ability to transmute energy, to transform it, your the ability to be an alchemist. There is no other way to say it. We'd be lost without you. This person may was maybe with somebody that you used to be with. You could be separated from them. We did see legal matters that could spell divorce or just um, some sort of split. I'm not for sure how that goes. It could be legal in terms of a high court in the spirit. You could have just been in relationship with each other and you made a judgment call to end it somehow or another. Either you ended it or the most high God, the alpha and the omega snatched you away from it. Yeah. Yeah. Life is like an ice cream. Enjoy it before it melts. I feel like you're going to enjoy life. You're going to meet your soul tribe. And you're going to enjoy life. You may be somebody who feels like, you know, I only have a little bit of time left. Like, you may be um, mature, you know. And feel like, you know, I just want to enjoy my life. And or the most high God is giving you an opportunity to really enjoy your life. You did an amazing job. Is here, is this upside down? Upright challenge. Somebody had a hard time, and I feel like maybe you doing a good job was a challenge, or um, this person is challenging you. For the work that you do. Um, maybe the spell work that they did on you just was kind of mediocre. Like mediocrity. Like they have some spiritual knowledge, but they're not as strong as thee. They're not. Um, obviously, um, again, the Most High God is protecting you. 
Thank you for your commitment. You are a person that's spiritually committed and devoted, and therefore you are protected. If you are a person that allows the Most High God to use you, you are a conduit, a vehicle for them, and you are making that choice consciously on a daily, like all day. What is it? Again, like I said, we usually ask, you know, what is it? You want this? I need these. You want this too? Yeah. You want anything else? And yeah, I didn't feel it. I felt you get the rubber band behind it. <laughs> so this one, do you want it upside down? Reverse. Yeah. It says, "Don't forget to be awesome." This person is not a good person. I mean, like, they spiritually lean into the negative polarity, the negative side of things. They may work in shadow energy, you know what I mean? Like, they nurture their shadow side. I feel like, um... I feel like they nourish that. They nourish it. You know what I mean? They may even study it. They may study dark, you know, the negativity. They may... I hear Satanist... You know what I mean? Like, they could be a person that... St and Satanists are, you know, if you look at it, it's not necessarily... All of it is not really, really dark. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess it's kind of weird. You know what I mean? It's in my understanding of it. I haven't really studied the Satanism or the occult that heavy, even though I like to study pretty much everything that I get my hands on. I just haven't been drawn to it to really delve into it, but maybe we'll take a look just so we can understand what people are doing. Knowledge is knowledge. Knowledge is power. We just said that. But um, I feel like I heard the word Satanist for sure. And I don't know um, what this person is doing or how they're doing it. Um, but if people who think about Satanism or just um, the fallen or Lucifer, L L L how do I, I don't even know, not Lucifer, no, Satanist, yeah. Okay, so... What is it that they're doing, beloved? I hear pulling on your light. Pulling on my light. Why? I hear abundant and light source. It's something that I'm not doing. Yes, there's a dot, like dotting the I's and crossing the T's. I felt cross the T, but it said well, it was something missing. I hear protection on portal days. So like if the days that those portals are real, are present in that energy is very high, like the gateways are open, that we need to practice some sort of protection, whether it's meditation, whether it's prayer, whether it is um, some sort of sealing so that whatever a person may be manifesting that comes towards thee um because not everybody you know practices you know on a high vibration they just don't right we know this that you know we keep ourselves shielded right i hear arrogance it could be arrogant for me to believe that you know there's no chinks, right? Like no cracks or crevices in my armor. Like there, 
to, and to seal up all the cracks and crevices is going to be pivotal. I do know that, of course, you know, the Most High God protects me. And I can feel when something is interrupting my resonance, my frequency, my vibration. And to come back into alignment and to seek cleansing and to balance and to um, come back into alignment, I'm aware to do that. But to protect myself better is something that I can do. Good times become good memories and bad times become good lessons. I just learned that lesson. Today is a good day to have a good day. This stage is still going, y'all. Usually it would have went out by now. But the most I said, it shall burn. Thank you. Where would you like to go? So true. I heard, let your soul glow. <laughs> Who like coming to America? Let your soul glow. <laughs> they get up off that couch. It was like three stains. Ooh. Somebody trying to leave a stain on you. Something that they, some sort of residue that was left behind. Mm. They a little drippy. When we move, we change our state and raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a channel for more energy. Are you moving your body daily? Are you passionate about it? Is it time to try something new? I feel like we need, you're going to be moving, but also just to, uh, exercise more raise your vibration balance your energy to uh balance your frequency transmute negative energy i feel like negative energy that you've taken on to be that has been absorbed by the and the negative energy that you may have generated yourself with you know, negative thoughts generate negative energy. And you may be struggling to balance your thought pattern, thought, um, your thoughts in general. You know, staying, trying to stay positive. What am I grateful for right now? An attitude of gratitude, always. Adopt an abundance mindset. I feel like somebody does, though, you have an abundance mindset. Like you see abundance everywhere. Get that in there. I don't know if that's really clear. And I feel like that's a run of the reasons why this person is targeting you. Adopt an abundance mindset. Gratitude is an antidote for... Um, gratitude is the antidote to all our problems. It's impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves our health, opens our heart, and changes our state. Close your eyes and put your hand over your heart. Think of three things for which you are grateful for today. I'm grateful for the Alpha and Omega, for the breath of life, and for the intelligence. Those are my three off the rip. Anything else in here, beloved? Yes. I'm hearing the word, she's fake, she's not real. This, this. As we grow, change, and transform our lives, it requires us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be. If you were to take the big leap today, would you feel scared of losing love, safety, or belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give everything you need to yourself? You have the power to give everything you need to yourself. And I feel like somebody truly recognizes that. Like you look around and see everything that you need, that you're missing nothing. I feel like 
Um, yeah, pleasant letter. What am I afraid of losing? Somebody may get a letter, and it's actually a good thing, but it may be a blessing in a disguise. Like, you may, it may be saying that you're losing something, either something's going away, but I feel like it's good. It's for your good. The thing you are telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, you're not enough, or if it, or it's not for you. What if it wasn't true? Somebody's going to get a good communication that's going to change things for them. It's going to grow you. Um, it's going to put to bed any fear. It's going to be affirming. You're on the edge of something great. That's what I was feeling like. Somebody's going to get some really good news. You, It may come in a form where it sounds like you're losing something. Or it may be you have to let something go in order to gain something greater. You're on the edge of something great. Can you feel it? Yes, there is risk, uncertainty, and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain and vulnerability is a requirement. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. That's what I'm feeling. Like you're going to get some communication. Is going to be good, but it may make you lose something. It could make you lose a former version of yourself. You may have to move. You may have to uh, leave a comfort your comfort zone. Right? It's going to stretch you. It's going to pull you. It's going to feel risky, but I feel like it's going to be a good thing. I feel like it's something that you are manifesting. And somebody was attempting to hold you back, to keep you back, or just to siphon off your light so that they can do what you do. You know what I mean? Like pull your abundance into them and away from you. But today is a good day for you. Because it is the most high God that judges. You have a soul script that was written to be spoken. Your story matters. And it's time for you to share it with the world. And it's here. And the people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? And I said that somebody is ascending and they're going to be meeting their soul tribe. Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? No. Somebody around you doesn't believe in you. There could be others around me that don't believe in me. They just may not. They may think that I'm fake. They may think that I make it up. Whatever the case may be. But I know the realness. I know that I channel the energy of the Most High God, beloved. And I don't need to prove anything. You believe or you don't believe. And those who are meant to believe will because they are a part of the lot that was assigned onto me. Like I said, we already have the we. We do. The Most High God gave them to us when we was introduced. So 
We have to believe we know that for sure. And they will come in due time. And according to the Most High God's time, and it ain't known to us. Do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? There's people who are in your current space that will not believe. They just won't. And it don't matter whether you are a channel messenger or whether you are a writer, a painter, an artist, a singer, a drummer, whether you are an accountant, whether you are a student, whether you are a parent. It's people that are just not going to believe in you. They're just not. And then you will meet people who do, your soul tribe, your true weak, those who are there to support you, that are really connected to you. Because just because you were born into that family don't make them your family. You can have a whole star seed family that you're going to meet. And the place that you were born into was just to develop you. To show you something. It's the family that you chose to incarnate into. Because it was something about that space that was going to feed you. You may be moving away from them. You may get a pleasant letter. It could be a job out of state, out of town or anything that's going to make you leave behind something. It could be, like I said, the old version of you, an old identity come pulling you out of your comfort zone, moving you away from people that don't mean you no good, people that are low vibrational, who people who use you, who abuse you, uh, A, B, you, you know, people who, again, like to siphon off your light, off your energy, off of your resources, we, you know, um, but whatever falls away from you is making space for the new. And the most high God judges all things, beloved. Even you, I mean us, each one of us. The Most High God will judge each one of us according to our works. Explore. Didn't I say somebody might be going on a journey? You might be going off solo dolo. Anything else in here? I saw a dancer, artist. I don't know if I said dancer. I said artist. I think I said drummer. And I see innocence. We see purity. I feel like you are a good soul, a good spirit. Like, you know, again, you are devoted and committed unto the Most High God. Thank you for your commitment. And the Most High God will elevate you. Anything else, beloved? Yes. This one. This. These rubber bands was the best thing ever because we could just pick up the whole day. Gateway activation. Thoth like codes, light initiation, great teacher awakening, having divine magic. Mm. Order of Melchizedek, embraced by light. Your mission has been uncovered. Don't give up. Don't give up. Your mission has been uncovered. You are embraced by light. And I said that. We pray that to increase our light, to increase our lumens, let it be a hedge around us for protection. You are embraced by light. Anything else in here, beloved? No. Akashic Stargate, align with your purpose, crossroads. There's no prop, no wrong path. You grown, going. A gateway. I was pointing to this one right here. Somebody is going through a gateway, through another portal. I feel like you've gone through one, you're going through another, you're going to go through another, and then you're going to go through another. You've been through one, you're going through this one, you're going to go through this one, and then you're going to go through this one. And it really doesn't matter whether you go this way or this way, you're going to end up here. You can go this way, this way, or this way. But for some reason, I feel like you're going to go here. I was told here, and then here. There's no wrong path. Anything else?
dark energy, the dark Toro. Queen of Cups, somebody that's psychic. We see Nine of Cups getting their wishes fulfilled. Or is this a dark queen? That it, Are they selfish? Yeah. So this is another psychic energy. I'm hearing distorted queen and masculine energy seeking to bind the or they have been bound and we saw that with the jail the prison card page of cups i feel like this person where does it go here i heard that they need to repent for what they did they need to apologize to the most high god the spirit I don't feel like you will know who this person is. You may feel it. Be careful of the energy that's around you. But again, it could be anybody. You know what I mean? I don't know the people all the week that watch me, but it's tears and we too. It's cross watchers that watch me. And it could be somebody that I don't even know. So it could be somebody that you don't even know. It could be somebody at work. It could be somebody in your friend group, a friend of a friend of a friend, you know, something like that. You just have no clue. So whatever they did, they need to work with the most I got with that. Yeah, nine of cups. This person is selfish in the hierophant. In reverse. Selfishness. They need to repent. This is somebody that practices, you know, um, in a low vibrational energy. And I feel like they have been bound. You know, like the most high God, again, places judgment. It judges at its own will and discretion. It judges righteously. For it knows what they have devised against me, the Alpha and Omega, what has Your Alpha and Omega is telling you to do something active today. Like I said, you don't know what this person has devised against you. You don't know what the Alpha and Omega do. So for you, do something active today. Take a walk. Um, do something that moves you. Maybe put on some music and dance. We saw the dancer car come out. That could be something that you could do. Transmute the energy. Generate some good energy. Um, the joy. Generate joy. Anything else in here, beloved? No. Death. And this is the second one. Most high placed it upside down. Whatever their plans was, two of wands, whatever they were devising, I feel like the most high God has issued his judgment on it. It's a good day to be protected, Ashtra. Is there anything else you would like to get? As you command, beloved. The Tarot. Another one. Four of Cups. We just got a split. King of Wands. See, I feel like that's somebody. Look, in toxicity. See, Queen of Cups could be somebody that, like I said, that's psychic and they nurture and nourish the dark side. You know what I mean? King of Wands is somebody that's in leadership, but they... Um, and they're spiritually inclined. They are generally a spiritual practitioner in some sort of way. Um, yeah, the sun in reverse, upside down. They lean into dark ish, especially with this devil card here too, beloved. This person could be depressed. They could be like I like I said, they just lean into somebody that's they could be somebody this this queen of cups that practices and uses their psychic ability abilities in a dark way, psychic gifts of sight and intuition. 
and the Satanists, they yeah Satanists that's what I'm saying see king of wands is a spiritual leader right but they lead people in the wrong way I feel devil toxic energy Somebody that leaned into the dark side of things. Depression. Sadness. Anger. Five of Swords. What did I say? Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. And up underneath that Five of Swords was the Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Cups, selfishness, regret, remorse, win at any cost, trying to prevent you from moving on and moving up, chariot to the star. Somebody wants your abundance, Ten of Cups, like I said, this hierophant in reverse. Yeah, this person... Three of Swords, Heartache, Despair, Magician, Dark Magician, somebody who causes heartache, Hermit. Like I said, this person is a spiritualist. They are tapped into the spirit, but they are cloaked, I feel like, in confusion. And it's very strong energy. Like I said, Seven of Swords. We already said that they... Um, trying to seven the swords, you a high priestess, but they are dark. They dig into something that's old. It could be somebody that's, well, you may have some very old energy. Six of cups, old knowledge. Um, you are loved by the divine. I feel like, um... Your past supports you. You've been committed. I feel like you've learned the lessons of your past. Like it has fed you. Like you are nourished by the lessons of the past. And I feel like, again, that judgment. Like the Most High God has judged you. And the judgment that you've gotten is success and recognition. Authority and control over your life. Or the Most High God, the Omega itself, is shining down upon you. And it has given you some sort of gift, some sort of new knowledge, some sort because you did learn. Or this is, could be this person that lies in deceit. Like, again, I feel like the Spirit is flipping this page of swords upside down. Like, they are... Satanists, they are they they work in darkness. Like I said, eight and pent eight of pentacles. They work in darkness. They do. They're gonna get back six of pentacles, the work of their hands. Eight of pentacles. What they worked on, they're gonna get it back. Four of pentacles for being selfish, for trying to hoard your energy, tr for trying to hold you back, beloved. They're gonna get it back. The Most High God has already judged them for whatever that they were trying to do. Whatever this dark plan was against you, they're going to get it back. I see Emperor to the Star to the Chariot to the Six of Wands. Emperor, the Omega, the Star. I hear healing. I hear rising up. I hear shining. I hear moving forward. The spirit is moving you. I see six of wands, success and recognition. And I feel that there's communication coming in, something pleasant. We said that somebody was going to be going on a journey with the balloon, the air balloon, the journey card. That's to me the chariot moving forward, ascension rising up. 
Yeah, you finna leave this dark energy behind. And I don't even know if you even know this person, you know, personally. It could be somebody that has eyes on you. Again, page of swords in reverse. But I feel like this person, whatever they are, of course, they're practicing something dark. We Again, we see when we were told Satanism. And I definitely feel that with the King of Wands, a leader in darkness, in, in shadow energy, something hurtful, something depressive, something against goodness of the light, the positivity, the upright against righteousness with the hierarchy in reverse. Wow. Anything else we love it? Yes. This. We see three of wands right off the rip. Like somebody that may have their eye on you. Six of pentacles cracked it open. They're going to get back what they were trying to give you. Anything else? Nope. <laughs> Anything else, beloved? Nope. That's it. That's it, beloved. Stay protected. You know what I mean? Pray. Meditate. Cleanse. Do something to change your energy. Whether it is dancing. Whether it is music. Something that makes you lighthearted. Enjoy it. Like most I say, life is like an ice cream. Enjoy it before it melts. You know, we only got this amount of time here. You know what I mean? Oh, this side was like this and this side was like that. So somebody might want to get in the right way and repent today, Ashe. Because you never know how much time we have left to do that. At least to say it physically before we are judged spiritually and um this person may not be of that mindset especially if they're a saintness they have a very different way of practicing i'm not placing or calling any judgment but i do feel that they were doing something dark something to steal to siphon off of you and again you may know them you may not but whatever the case may be Because of what they did, they going to get what they got. Yeah. That's how I feel. Most I said, you shouldn't have had to did that. Because you're going to get that back. Pretty much. Anything else will love it now. This is it, y'all. To the next now, I love you. I love you just like I love me. Like I love the Alpha and Omega that made me, that created me to be. Yes, called me. To be the infinite intelligence breathing, the word resurrecting is dead. I say, believe or don't believe, it ain't known to me anyway. You know what I mean? To the next now, this one's done. I say.